Click clack. Hey, Mechanics Peeps, back again. Okay, this is the existing way I have this whole pump vac setup done. I've got the old BLT, which is this one, and then it's going to the thermopress via this hose right here. So this feeds into this vac pump. This, I had the, a T, had this T here, and of course this is all Teflon tape and E6000. So I had the T here like this with a gauge and the relief valve. So this came out. I'm going to just plumb this like this. Okay. I'm going to use Teflon tape. I'm going to come back with E6000 and seal all of these just to make me feel better. Uh, if you do a good job with Teflon, you're fine. You can glue these if you want. I, I'm not. So, and this is a purpose because if I want to switch it out, I can. So this is going to go something like this. Okay, then the T has got to go here, somewhere in this area, with our gauge. Then I'll have this head that direction, drop down into or underneath the cabinet so my surge tank would be down there and then my fitting here will go into one of these this will be the pump so it's gonna be something like this Let's just say pump this is going here we've got this going to the surge tank, and then we've got our gauge, something like this. So that's my plan. I'll be able to switch it out. I'm hoping that I'll have to move this up over and then move everything down. I have enough counter space to do that. I just kind of like the pump right here, but we'll see what happens. That's what I've got. That's what this big mess is. And, uh, once I start figuring out where to set the surge tank, I'll build some uh, straps out of .08 Kydex and then I'll actually strap it to the side of the cabinet and uh, we'll be good to go. So anyway guys, hang on for the ride and let's see what happens. Okay my Kydex peeps, this is what you're going to run, run into, uh, especially with something that's pre-existing if you're starting with fresh you're good but pre-existing I'm trying to figure out where to put the surge tank it will not work here because of the drawer so I wanted to just come over drop down into the counter hidden it's not gonna work so I was gonna do it directly under here but I've got too many things going on in this area here so I'm probably gonna run it back behind that and then drill and drop it straight down and so the tank which is right here will sit right in here straight up and down uh, I'll cut around the shelving so I haven't lost any of the shelving but that is what I've got so far my second issue is I'm going to come up with three quarter, and it's not really an issue. Come up with three quarter, I only have one piece of 24 inch, so I'm probably going to have to do what's laying there, and I'm going to be short, what, 10, 12 inches? So, story of my life. So, probably go with the half inch reducer there, and then tie in. And then I've got to definitely find a way to secure that valve once I've got it all set. So, like I said, this is pre-existing. I could mount it up and down right here. I just, uh, I'd have to paint it, make sure the straps, I don't, I don't want to go through all that. So, this is what I've got. And uh, we'll figure it out. 
Hey, my Kydex peeps. Okay, back. This is going to be the final right here with these uh, pieces of PVC. This is what I've got so far. A big freaking mess. Final is going to go right there. I did not have to move the pump over to this side. So I'm not too happy with that ball valve being back there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I've got to put the exhaust port for this it's gonna go there now it's running back like that drop down got some kydex strapped goes straight up I'm gonna get another band put it right here somewhere and uh, then put the sh shelf back in once I've cut it so yeah and you're gonna need drill bits uh, i wanted to do three quarter i don't have a three quarter hole and did not want to put a bunch of small holes and then file it out so i just used a one inch spade which worked perfect i don't think i'll have a problem with it so once i get this tied in and uh, let it dry then i'm going to come back in with e6000 around some of the stuff that I kind of felt that was loose and then let that dry and then put my cluster back because uh, this is freaking me out got just stuff everywhere so yeah we'll see what happens hey my Cadex peeps back again okay final when I say apply E6000 this is what I mean E6000 Okay, it's clear, it's transparent, it's a permanent bond, it's washer dryer safe. Anything that I thought moved, what I'm gonna do is just, I've got Teflon already, but I'm just gonna apply it as a peace of mind for me. Okay, so things that moved. Okay. And you could probably use silicone caulking if you want to, but I just, this is what I've got. It doesn't smell. So, and I use this on my uh, wallets, the shock cord. I put a little dab on the knot so that thing will never come apart. Take that out, close that. Okay, gauge is here, so I know what's going on. I might get another little PVC fitting and jack that gauge maybe up a little bit more, but it's fine. Now I've got to come back and either stabilize all this plumbing like I've got this block right here and it's glued with E6000 to the counter. Uh, it's not permanent. I could knock it off and then peel it off if I needed to. So I need to stabilize this and that way when I reach for the valve, it's solid. So that's what it looks like, guys. I'm basically done. And let me kind of see it right there. So that goes all the way to the back, behind the vac former. Then I went ahead and cut out to fit around the pipe so I can still have my storage. I still got my shelf and the pipe's right there, out of sight, out of mind. Um, tools, get a PVC pipe cutter if you don't have one because it will help to cut the small little weird cuts that you might have measured wrong get extra pipe i was down to an inch and a half of pvc inch and a half 
of half inch PVC just for these little nipples so it worked perfect but if I would have needed a three inch piece or four inch piece I'd have had to go out again and uh, fight the crowd fight the traffic all that good crap so anyway guys we'll let that E6000 dry run a test and call this project good total investment I don't know 50 bucks that's including the E6000 um, I think the piping was 40 some dollars so anyway guys that's all I got I hope it helps you guys out again surge tank for the little tiny Harbor Freight pumps the 3.5 the 3.0 trust me you'll get the same results as you would from big back like this Good luck with projects guys don't burn yourself eat steak subscribe and as always peace